Hi, Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Listen, you guys, I want to share something with you. Sometimes we don't really realize what a threat to the enemy's camp we are. And we go through changes day by day, wondering why am I bombarded by demonic attacks? Why do they attack my mind? Why do they attack my emotions? Why do they attack my family? Why, why, why? We get so frustrated and we get so discouraged. But you know what the guy said when they were, if the disciples said when they were in jail? They said, we glory in the fact that we partake of the sufferings of Christ. We've been beaten. We've been punished. Yes, gone hungry at times. But we glory in it. Well, now they're not doing it physically like they did back in the day. Back in the day, those people were strong. They didn't have all these amenities that make humans lazy like we are. So now the demons have changed their strategy. And instead of attacking physically through the beatings and the jails and the imprisonments and the, and the, you know, whatever, he is attacking the thing that controls you the most is right between your thought process and your emotional process. And he is riding you like a racehorse baby, trying to drive you crazy, trying to make you give up. Guess what? He ain't nothing but a wimp. He's nothing but a roach. Don't you dare let him drive you out of the loving arms of God. What he's trying to do is show you, convince you, that if you hadn't bothered with God, he wouldn't be bothering you. So if you leave God alone, hey, he'll leave you alone. You want some rest? Tell God where to shove it, and hey, you and me are in like Flynn, and I won't bother you. Guess what? Guess what? You have authority over that booger. You have authority over him. You do not have to lay down and let him run all over you. Now you may get tired. You may get frustrated. But guess what? You're cast down, but not destroyed. Do you hear me? You're not destroyed. For every attack Satan brings to you, God has a reward. One of my uh, friends had shared a dream with me. And she said that she was, she and her family, I think it was mainly her husband, Satan was trying to get them to do something really evil. And in the dream, she couldn't quite remember what the deed was, but she knew it was a dastardly deed, and she was not to do it because it was totally against God's ways and God's will. So she told him no. He brought the proposition again and again and again and again. She and her husband both said, no, we will not. We will only do what pleases God. And she said the feeling and the dream, it was so negative. She hated it. But I told her it was a beautiful dream. And I'll tell you why. She told me that after she told him no the last time, all of a sudden, she and her husband were all dressed in white, in beautiful, bright white. And she didn't know why her clothes had changed. And I told her, I said, girlfriend, God just robed you with the robes of righteousness. He covered you with a new robe because you stood for him. You stood against the enemy. You resisted the enemy. And God counted that as righteousness. Now, I want to ask you, would you have resisted? Or would you be wearing a black or red robe? What color would your robe be? Hmm. What kind of pressure does it take to make you bow? Do you have a price?
I hope not. God bless you.